Hello, this is what's known as the Japanese Abacus, also called the Soroban. So let's go ahead and clear it and I'll show you how it works. So before I show you uh, addition and subtraction, division and multiplication on this, uh, we have to understand the parts of the Soroban. So down here, this is called Earth, this bottom section. And up here, this is called Heaven. On Earth, we have the Earth counters, and in Heaven, we have the Heaven counters. This middle piece is called the cross piece, with dots to indicate the def decimal points. And these bars, these vertical bars, are called the uprights, and they house the beads, of course. One thing that's important to remember when using a Soroban for calculation is the beads have to be touching the cross piece, otherwise they do not count um, toward your total. So that's an easy way to, to know what is being counted and what is not being counted. Okay, so we can first start by doing some simple addition. And one thing you have to know before you can add or subtract on this, or do any sort of math, is that the heaven counters count as five. Each one of these beads in heaven counts as five. And the earth counters count as one. Each bead in the earth counts as 1. So we want to express the number 35, bring 3 up in the tens column, 1 down in the ones column, and we have 35 written on the Soroban. So now we need to add 17 to that. So what we do is we can add 4, 5, 6, 7 to the ones, and then we add one to the tens column, and that can be done by bringing down the four and bringing down the heaven counter, which represents five. And we're left with our answer of 52. You see that right there. So let's do another one. Let's do um, 1,035 plus 431. So the way we do that is we add one. We add, um, we add one to the ones column, and then we add three to the tens column. So one, two, three. And then we add four to the hundreds column. And we're left with our answer, which is 1,466. It's very simple. You just add the numbers together physically on the Soroban, and then you just read off the numbers at the end as your answer. Okay, so now we can do some subtraction. So first, let's do 95 minus 43. So on our abacus, we need to express 95. That can be done with writing 9 in the tens place and 5 in the ones place. And from that, we want to take 43. So to do this, we take 1. We have 4 in the ones place, 2, 3. Okay. Now we need to take 4 from the tens place which is done like that. So now we have 52 remaining, and that's our answer. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a bigger number. Let's do 1,596 minus 541. So to do this, we take 1 away in the 1's place, we take 4 away in the 10's place, and we take 5 away in the hundreds place. And we're left with our answer of 1,055. And that's how you do subtraction. Okay, so let's do some simple multiplication. Let's do 23 times 3, and we should get 69 as the answer. So we need to write this as 20 times 3 plus 3 times 3. So 20 times 3 we have 20 here, times 3 is 6, okay? And then we need to add that to 3 times 3, which is 9. And we're given the answer 69. So let's do a little bit of a bigger problem as well. So we have 481 times 14. So we'll multiply 481 times 10, so 481 becomes 
810. Now we need to multiply 4 times 481. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 8 is 32. So 2. And then we need to add 30. So 1, 2, 3. Okay. So now we need to add 4 times 4, which is 16. So we need to add... 6, and then 10. And we're left with 6,734. And that's basic multiplication on the abacus. Okay, so let's do some simple division as well on the Sorbonne. So let's do 48 divided by 4. So let's write 48 divided by 4. So to do this, you ask yourself, what is the smallest number that 4 can go into? In 48. So since we only have two digits, 4 goes into 48 12 times. So 2 and 10. Now we multiply 4 times our answer, 12, to see if we have a remainder. So 4 times 12 is 48. We have no remainder. And this is our answer, 12. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a bigger example. So let's do 630, 630, divided by 3. So, as you can see, this also looks just like 63. It's not necessarily 630 since we have that 0 in the last place. And so we, we ask ourselves, how many times can 3 go into 63? And 3 can go into 63 21 times. So, 21. Now, we multiply 3 times 21 to see if we get 63, and we do. So we eliminate those, and we're left with 21. But notice the place that they're in. This is 210, actually. And so that's our answer. 360 divided by 3 is 210. And that's simple division on the Sorbonne. Okay, for the last part of this video, I want to demonstrate basic azan and what it is. So azan is the mental simulation of a Soroban in your mind. To use the Soroban mentally, this is azan. This is useful for calculation if a Soroban is not physically available. So to do azan, you need to picture a Soroban in your head. Now you don't need to picture the entire thing. You don't need every row of the Sorbonne. All you need are a few uprights in your mind and a cross piece. And so I will be representing the pieces visually. These will be the heaven counters. These will be the earth counters. So let's do a couple examples. Very simple, just to give you the basic premise of what Azan is. Azan has to be practiced a lot you to get good at it. And Azan can't be demonstrated like this to full effect because it's in your mind. You have to get used to doing it mentally. So let's, let's cover how to do that. So let's take an example. 14 plus 45. Okay. So in your mind, picture a couple of uprights. It doesn't matter how many, as long as you keep track of how many there are. So let's picture a couple uprights. So let's represent 14 in our mind. So to do this, we want to bring an earth counter up in the tens place, and we want to follow that by bringing four earth counters up in the ones place. And so in your mind, you have one earth counter touching the cross piece in the tens place, and four earth counters touching the cross piece in the one's place. So now in your mind, I want you to add 45. Okay? So in your mind, I want you to bring down one heaven piece in the one's column, and I want you to bring down, er, and I want you to add four earth pieces to the tens column. So one, two, 
three, and then when you have to add your fourth, I want you to visualize mentally bringing down part of the heaven pieces and clearing away the four earth pieces to give us our total of 59. And we've done this without a sorabon. I've written this out to demonstrate visually how you should picture it in your mind, but it's the same principle. So let's do it again. Let's do it with a little bit of a bigger number. So let's do 96 minus 36. That should give us 60. Okay, so in your mind, I want you to represent 96 on your mental sorabon. So this can be done by bringing down one heaven counter and bringing up four earth counters to touch the cross piece in the tens column in your mind. Okay, so we have 90. Now add six. So bring down one heaven counter in the ones place and bring up one earth counter in the ones place as well. So we have 96 represented on our mental sorabon. Okay? So now we want to subtract 36 from 96. So to do that in our heads, we subtract 6 first. So in the ones column, mentally subtract 6. You'll realize that's just getting rid of the pieces. Okay? So we're keeping mental track. We subtracted 6. Now we need to subtract 30. So we go to our tens column and we take away three earth counters. And so in your mind, you should be left with one heaven counter and one earth counter touching the cross piece in the tens column, which would represent 60 numerically. And that happens to be our answer. So this is how you use a zon mentally. You picture the sorabon in your mind and then you manipulate the beads all in your mind. No physical calculation, but you get the same benefit as a material mechanical calculator because you're following the same mechanistic steps that you would be if you had a physical Sorbon in front of you. So I hope that was helpful. Um, a Zahn has to be practiced a lot to be fully grasped, and it takes a lot of mental imagery, but we can all get there with enough practice. So I hope you found that beneficial. I hope you found the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division anecdotes helpful. Um, and I hope you found a Zahn helpful. And I hope you use a Zahn in your daily life. It is an incredible tool. It turns your brain into a calculator. And all you have to do is create the Sorabon in your mind and manipulate it mentally. So thank you for watching and have a good day.